Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Mr. Cobalt, and in this video, I'm gonna go over a problem on how to find the amount of water in a hydrate given that you're given the percent mass. Okay, so in this problem, uh, you're given aluminum sulfate hydrate and they give you the formula for the hydrate and you don't know how many water molecules are in this hydrate. And that's what you're trying to find. But they do give you the mass percent of the aluminum in the hydrate itself. And that's going to be very useful. So we can use that to calculate the value of X. So we want to know the mole ratio between the number of waters in your substance versus uh, this amount here. Okay, so how do we do this? Well, they give you a percent and that we can use that to our advantage. So remember, uh, the general formula prefer for a percent is part over whole multiplied by 100. And that's going to give you the percent. Okay, so in this case, it's a mass percent of aluminum. So the aluminum in our formula is the part and the rest of the formula is the whole. So if we could find, the, if we had the, the amount of aluminum over the total amount of the substance multiplied by 100, that would be 8.01%. Okay, so, um, but we don't need the percentage. We can take the percentage and just get rid of it. And that way we can get the part over the whole. We can get the fractional amount of that. So if we take our 8% or 8.10% and all we need to do is take the 100, divide both sides by the 100, right? If we take this, divide both sides by the 100, then we get the part over the whole left over and it's the percentage divided by 100. So if we take this percentage and divide it by 100, we'll get our fraction of part over whole. And so that becomes 0 0.0810 as the fraction. So why is this important? So that fraction, notice that this is a percent by mass. So the percent by mass is telling us that if we have a given amount of mass of our part, which is the aluminum, and we have another uh, part, which is the mass of the whole, which is going to be the mass of this whole thing, then we could divide the mass of the aluminum by the mass of the whole, um, what's it called? <clears throat> the, uh, the whole formula. And that would be equal to this amount here. So, so the mass, mass of aluminum, in our substance, so the whole the mass of the aluminum in our substance divided by the mass of our whole substance. So that's our Al2 SO4 3 with an X amount of H2O. And that's going to be equal to this. So aluminum, mass of aluminum divided by the mass of the whole equals this. So, but how do we find this? Okay, so we don't know the mass of the aluminum. Uh, we don't know mass of this. Well, we could find the mass of this, kind of, but they're not giving us any masses, right? So they're not giving us mass of aluminum and they're not giving us mass of this. So what do we do? So, but what we do know is the molar masses, right? So we can assume any amount of this stuff. So if we want, if we could use molar masses, we could assume one mole of our substance. So if we assume one mole of this substance, then we can assume we have the molar masses of those substances. Does that make sense? So, so instead of uh, since they're not giving us any particular masses in the problem, we can use the molar mass as the masses because we're assuming one mole. 
okay? And we could assume two moles, we could assume, we can assume 100 moles, but it's, it's more convenient just to assume one mole because now we can assume uh, that number of grams per one mole. So, uh, so for the mass of aluminum, right? So the molar mass of aluminum is going to be a certain amount, and then we have this molar mass here. So if we look up the molar mass of aluminum, let's look up the molar mass of aluminum. Okay, so because we have two of these, uh, we got to multiply this by two. So whatever the molar mass of aluminum times two, because our formula has two of those in there, and then we've got the rest of this. And the uh, aluminum has a molar mass of, let's see, so two aluminum, that's going to be like 26.9 something. So if we add those together, we get... 53, 53.964. So we get 53.964, and that's going to be grams of aluminum. That's from adding the aluminum, the, the molar mass of aluminum from the periodic table and multiplying by two. And then what we can do is we can figure out the molar mass of this and the molar mass of this, but we're not going to know X. So the molar mass of the whole thing of this part. So remember the molar mass of this part here is of, of this whole thing is the molar mass of this plus the molar mass of this multiplied by X, right? So we can separate those two and calculate them and then add them together. So here we'll figure out the molar mass of that. And the molar mass of that part is 342. So we have 342 point, uh, 132. So 132 grams for one mole. So that's this part here, the aluminum Al2SO43. And then what about this? So we're going to add to that, what, an X amount multiplied, an X number of these multiplied by the molar mass of water. And the molar mass of water is 18.06 or 08. So 18.0, uh, let me double check, 115. And that's in grams. Okay, so just to recap, so... The mass percent or the mass ratio of these two of the aluminum over the whole thing uh, is going to be the molar mass of aluminum multiplied by two because we have two aluminums in our formula divided by the mass of the whole thing. And the mass of the whole thing is the mass of the aluminum, uh, the aluminum sulfate part plus the number of waters, the mass of the number of waters. So that's what we have here. So the mass of the two aluminums plus the mass of per mole of the aluminum sulfate plus the uh, number of water molecules multiplied by the molar mass of the water molecules. And this ratio here is equal to this ratio here, 0 0.0810. So now we have our equation and we have one unknown X. So now all we need to do is solve for X. So then this part here is going to be multiplied both sides. So I'm gonna take this part, multiply this out both sides. So 342.13 grams plus X times 18.015 grams, okay? And then we're gonna multiply that over here. So that's, again, 
one, three, two. Let me get a different marker because this one is squeaking. Okay, and plus x times 18.015. So 18.015 grams. And then if we multiply that out, let me go to blue marker. So this cancels out with that. And so this becomes 53.964 grams is equal to 0 0.0181, uh, oh, I'm sorry, um, point zero eight one zero multiplied by three forty two point one three two times x times eighteen point one zero one five grams oops and now I'm gonna multiply this through to each of these so when I do that I get 53.964 grams is equal to, and then this times this gives me, let's see, uh, 27.7, 27.7 7 1269. And then this times this gives me plus x times, so 1.45, so 1.45921 grams. And so now um, I can bring this over here. And so Subtract both sides by 27.71269 grams. This should be grams. Uh, grams. And then we're going to subtract 27.71269 grams. And when we do that, we get 26, 26 point two five one three one. 25131 grams and that's going to be equal to x times 1.45921 grams <clears throat> and so now i just take this and divide both sides by this so we divide both sides 1.45921 Divide that by 1.45921, <clears throat> and that's grams. So you'll see that grams, this cancels out, grams cancels out, and that's important because X is, doesn't have a unit, it's just a number of water molecules. So now all I need to do is divide this by this, and you get... A number that's really close to 18 and since you can't since you can't have a fractional amount of water well you you can have a fractional amount but um, in this case you won't have a, a fraction of water in this case so you get a, a number really close to 18 so you can round to 18 so X is uh, 18 uh, so that means you have 18 water molecules in your in your aluminum sulfate hydrate so I hope that was helpful. If you like this video, please like the, the video, hit the like button, share the video, put a comment in the comment section, let me know what you think. If you have any questions, uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Thank you for joining me. Have a nice day.